from Florence Azria. I am so excited to have you here with me today. We are going to bake the most amazing, delightful cake. It's called Charlotte by the Sea. It's a very special cake to me. There is a brasserie in Paris that is called Brasserie Flo. Every time you go there, they make raspberry charlotte and they serve it over cream. It's really good. Charlotte cake is basically made in three parts. First part is the Genoise, which is the French sponge cake. It's a base for a lot of uh, cakes in France. Then it's a raspberry mousse with whipped cream and the lady finger that goes around that make it pretty. The ingredients are eggs, sugar, flour, and then we're gonna have raspberries for the mousse and whipped cream and sugar again and the lady fingers. So let's start with the genoise. So I'm gonna use four eggs. I'm gonna mix with sugar and here's a trick. They have to be cooked and whipped at the same time. The bowl cannot touch the water and the water cannot be too hot. Never go over 55 degrees Celsius. So here I have my four eggs and now I'm gonna add 125 grams of sugar. So I have my eggs, sugar set aside and now I'm gonna measure and do 25 grams of flour. And a pinch of salt. So I'm gonna move all my ingredients towards the heat. So as you can see, um, my eggs have triple volume and that's what we want, very, very light and fluffy. So now I'm gonna sift a little bit of flour inside the whole trick, because it's a tricky cake. It's before it completely melts, you have to really mix it gently, you know, but be careful because sometimes the flour gets stuck at the bottom. I'm lifting the butter, but barely touching it because the whole thing is not to break the fluffiness. We have to work quick and gently. Always lifting the butter like a cloud. <laughs> so the trick is not to add butter to it because the butter will weigh down the, the butter. So I used to and then I realized uh, it's not working out because the cake has to triple volume too once it's cooked. So now I have a um, greased pan next to me and I'm gonna transfer the butter and bake it real quick. And it doesn't take long to bake because you want the genoise to remain like very light. I'm gonna bake it at 350 convection oven uh, for 30 minutes, between 20 and 30. I mean, it all depends on your oven too, so voila. Best is to use removable bottom pan. Voila. Now I'm gonna make the raspberry puree. So, using a blender, I'm gonna mix, ooh, girlfriend, you cannot escape me. I'm gonna blend raspberries and sugar. In the meantime, I'm gonna soak a sixth sheet of gelatin. a little so it will be easier to dissolve the gelatin into it and everything will be at the same temperature. So now I am going to make the cream. So it's whipping cream. And I'm gonna beat it until it reach a hard piece. Check 
my cream to make sure that it's perfect consistency, which it is. So now my gelatin should be about ready. So I'm gonna squeeze it and add it to the warm raspberries. So see how it dissolves? Much easier. I'm gonna start incorporating the puree to the cream. Slowly, so it's not too, too much. So see how firm my cream is? I'm going to add the puree a little at a time. So I'm adding the rest of the raspberry puree to my cream. Gently motion, clockwise, always lifting from the bottom up. And now I'm gonna add the gelatin dissolve in the raspberry puree. That's what's gonna hold basically the cream. When you eat up the raspberry puree, don't over eat it because you don't want it to cook. You just have to warm. Mm. It smells like spring and joy and happiness and life. So the gelatin is gonna harden and it's gonna harden the cream. So usually I do it overnight and leave it in the fridge, but you can also wait a little bit until it hardens a little and start dressing your Charlotte. So now I am going to check on my genoise and see how it goes. Absolutely perfect. So now I'm gonna let this beauty cool off. So I'll be able to unmold it and then slice it through. I have two genoise in one and I use it for the bottom and the first layer. So now I'm gonna dress up the Charlotte. I already used my stand because that's where the Charlotte's gonna leave. Lower layer. Okay, crank, adjustable if possible. Don't make it too, too, too tight, just because remember that we have to set the lady fingers around it. Okay, so those lady finger I buy because it takes a lot of time to make them and truth is I find them on Amazon already made. They're a French brand and uh, I'm gonna put the lady finger, powder sugar, towards the edge of the mold. Because when you unmold it, it's gonna be much prettier. So it's a bit tricky, because sometimes, you know, they're not feeling up to staying up, but guess what? They have no choice. Ooh, it's always one that's trying to escape. So when that happens, you know, I do a little bit of cream. So see how hard and compact my cream is? But you know, it's gonna go back to the fridge anyway, overnight. So I'm starting to have all the lady finger and see now they hold really well because the cream hold them together. It's kind of a marriage. You need a cream in the middle. It looks very expensive and very difficult to make, but at the end of the day, it's much more easier than you think. So you should give it a try. It's really worth it. When you present it at the table, people think you're a genius and you're like, so you try to have them all the same height. Like I have a little bit of space in between because you want them to be very tight to hold the cream. In France, they are called Biscuits de Reims. Now I'm gonna fill with cream. Ooh, where are you going, buddy? And I'm gonna add the second layer of the Genoise. Push it through, so it's fully flat. Don't hesitate to trim it a little if it's too high. More cream. Now it's gonna go to the fridge for a couple of hours. It will hold much better. Voila. See how tight and beautiful they are? And then I'm gonna decorate them decorate it with them talking about the raspberries let's do it so before I remove the ring I'm gonna start decorating I'm gonna use raspberry and a 
couple of trips of syrup. So the goal is not to see any space in between raspberry. So try to get the raspberry that are about the same height and the same size and preferably the same color. Once the center is fully filled, I'm gonna evaluate if I need more or not because I don't wanna see any space in between them. So sometimes I have to layer it. I'm gonna have to go around one more time just because I see space. Don't hesitate to push them close to each other. Baking is an art. Because, you know, even before you eat with your mouth, you wanna eat with your eyes. And it has to be very pretty. Et voila! So now I made a little syrup with a rose syrup and water. And look, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit. So it's like morning dew on the flower. So now the tricky part, I'm gonna undo it. Voila. And the last but not the least, using the same brush, I'm gonna add a little bit of syrup on the side so I can stick a ribbon. And voila, it's finished. So it has to go back to the fridge for a few hours so it gets very firm and hard. And when you're ready to serve, I'll bring it like this to the table, then just pull the raspberry and the toothpick and undo the ribbon. It's gonna look very pretty, I'm telling you. People love it. I hope you enjoyed baking with me today. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen. Please subscribe to my channel. We are releasing a delightful new recipe every Thursday night at 6 p.m. For now, au revoir.